thinking, their brain all of a sudden hits this thing where they go, oh wait a minute, I don't understand that bit. And they put their hands up and they say, but, but, but what about this? But, but what about that? But how does this work? How does that work? With the older ones, I don't know what it is, but you put up this block and you just leave it there. You don't divulge into it and think, you know what, let's rip this girl to pieces and see where we get. Let me leave you today finding the deepest knowledge from the topic that we're talking about. Now I hope you prove me wrong. I hope you've come to try and dissect what we talk about today and really go deep into it and understand more about what it is to be a Sikh. Okay? Today what we're talking about is how can the Shabbat the Guru Shabbat be our Guru. Why do we not have a person? Why do we not have the Namtaris? They're on Guru 15 or 16 or whatever they're on. The Radha Swamis, they've got their guy. The Nirankaris, they've got their Guru guy. Okay? So all these different groups, they have a person that's leading them. That's their guru, that's their god, that's their everything. For us, we have Guru Granth Sahib. It's a completely different ideology. We haven't got some Santa Baba who sits there and tells us and leads us. We're not followers of any person. We're the followers of Guru Granth Sahib. It's a completely different thinking. And Guru Granth Sahib is given that highest respect. For us, Guru Granth Sahib is the be-all and end-all of our belief system. And when you're Amritari, especially, that Guru becomes the source of your own life. It says in Gurbani, Allohana visre dil ji pran. May I never, even for a second, forget about that Guru. Dil Ji Pran. Dil ki hunda. Someone tell me Dil ki hunda. Oh. Huh. What is your Ji? You guys know what Ji is? What is that? Hunda Ji. Ji. Ji ki hunda. Hmm? Your Ji is the source of your life. Your soul. Your soul is the source of your life. Yeah, that's what we are. We are a soul. And it's talking about the Guru's Shabbat. Pran. What, what are Pran? Does anyone know what Pran are? When we are Pran, what are, what are our Pran? Anyone know? No one knows what Pran Breath. 
Yeah, prana or breath. When someone dies, they say, Oh prana tiagrit, they've left their, their prana. Yeah? The source of life that is given to us through breathing. Okay? So dil, ji, prana. Dil is our heart, our pyar, our love, our actual heart that keeps us alive. Ji is that soul, the source of life that is deep within us. Pran is that breath that we take that keeps us alive. Gurbani is telling us that Guru Granth Sahib, within Guru Granth Sahib, the Shabad, the Shabads we read, the Simran we do, the Mool Mantra we repeat, is our source of life. And if that source of life is taken away, Gurbani says, Bainan naam hai, mar jaiye mere thakur. Without that naam, without that shabad, mata mar jaiye. I'll just die. Why? Because, jo amali, amal lubana. What's an amali? Addict. An addict. Yeah, drug addict. Alcoholic addict. Yeah, an alcoholic. It's an addict. What happens if you just cold turkey, take away a drug addict's drugs. Do you guys know what effects the drugs have on that person after? What, what kind of thing? What, what's the things that they go through? When I've got um, had a, a doctor, well he wasn't actually a doctor, he was the age of my doctor, he was my cousin. He was a drug addict. Yeah, from young age went to bad sangat and completely different from the rest of the family. He's died now. Yeah, he died very horribly because of the drugs. Okay? But when my dad and family all that went to stop him from those drugs. We saw the effects that stopping the drugs straight away had on him. Okay? Are you guys aware of this kind of stuff? I mean, I don't want to say you're stupid, but I'm just asking you. Are you aware of the effects that drugs have? If you stop someone straight away on drugs, what happens? I just put your hands up now, I can get some answers up from you as well. He's giving the Withdrawal symptoms, okay? Explain a withdrawal symptom to me. Well, you have to think on mindset, psychological, because they feel like they need it to be okay. Okay. Buddy? Honey? Depression. depression. So they go into depression after going off the drugs. Okay? What, what's the reason for the depression? Yeah? That's it, because you can't get it. Your body's saying, I want it, you can't get it, and it drives you down. What else? You get paranoid. You get very paranoid. Yeah? I know a saying, uh, he's Amritari Singh, Barna, Dwala, and everything now, but he used to be a drug addict. Okay, I think Mark Gilpa, we should try and get him for one of the next camps. Uh, he did everything, <clears throat> every drug there is, the most dangerous drugs. He was injecting himself, he was doing all crack cocaine and everything. Now he's Amritari Singh, and his seva is that he basically now rehabilitates people. Not just Amritari, he doesn't just say, oh, you've got to become Amritari. Now, anyone who's on drugs, if they want to get off drugs, he's got a program that he goes through with them. And he was telling about some of the effects and stuff, but even him, even to this day, even though he's Amritari now, every so often, and this is just the way it works, you can ask him if he ever comes, if his Nithanin and Simran, lowers in level, he starts having the same systems, the same things, 15, I think probably 15 years on after being off the drugs. And he, he just drops. He starts getting a bit weird. I mean, once we went to a Samagam in Canada, uh, or Tiwi had a bit of a weird fit, I can't remember what it was, but he just went a bit weird all of a sudden. You know, he just kind of started like, he just started looking at the floor and just staring at the floor. But for him, I think in his head, he thought he was doing stuff. In his head, he thought he was like walking around, Maybe going to the bar side and stuff. But he was just staring at this thing and just shaking, just looking at this one thing. So these are the effects, they are very bad effects. Jo Amali Amalubhan. Okay? Gurbani is saying, if you take my Simran away from me, you take Naam, Bani, Sangat, Rat, the Guru's life, the Guru's teachings, the Guru's support. Because those drugs have become a support for that person as well. Holy Holly, those drugs are supporting that person. 
They're keeping them on a certain level. They're keeping what we say high, isn't it? If someone gets high. Yeah, it's keeping them on that high. And when they get off the drug, when the drug wears off, if you were here, you guys all know this, but I'll explain it anyway. If you're here, this is your normal level. High is here. Okay? So you go from here to here. When the drug wears off, do you come back here? Where do you go? Lower. So then you need more drugs to get you back up to that level. But then what happens? Even lower. And Gurbani, because Guru likes a bit of laugh and a joke sometimes, has said that the Guru's Sikh japs naam like a amli. Amli ya mangu naam japo. It says, mat wale amli hoi. Jaisi rasna saadru bhani, teo har jan har gun gaave, jaisi, sorry, jaisi amli amlu bhani, teo har jan har gun gaave. Jaisi amli amlu bhani, teo har jan har gun gaave. Just like an amli, needs the amal. He needs the amal to keep him going. That's his support. Without the amal, he's going to go down. Gurbani says, Guru da Sikh, tu naam bhi adda jab. And an amli is not going to go to someone and say, you know, yeah, enna ki de de, so I de oji. You know, say, it's a prashad and everything. Enna ki chal de de. He's going to say, whatever you've got, just stick it in there. Whatever you've got. They are so desperate. And Guru Maharaj is saying, the Guru Sikh should get so desperate Wherever, anywhere, there's even an inkling that Guru Di ko galu ho riya, koi Guru Di katha ho riya, Guru da simran ho riya, koi char panch bande ja, ek do bande vai guru vai guru kar. O amliya mangura naat ke ja hoga ke vai. Come on, please let me join in. I want some simran as well. That's the way the Guru's shabad works for us. This shabad is. Everything for us. It's the be all and end all. It's the root for the sick. Take the shabbat away, there's no sikhi. There's no sikhi. Without that shabbat, we've got nothing. That shabbat is everything. That's why we must take to that shabbat. That's why Guru Granth Sahib is everything to us. We won't allow the disrespect of that Guru. We will keep that Guru on a high platform. We'll matta take to that guru. But what makes that shabad the guru? Why? Why is the shabad the guru? Why has guru given us that shabad rather than given us Mr. Darshan Das or Gurbachana Nirankari or fake Satguru Jagdeet Singh, Ram Singh, whatever they are? Why haven't we got these fake Babbi? Why have we got. Gauri would say to us, a book. You pray to a book. Now we have to explain to them. Oh, we don't pray to a book. That's actually my guru. Now that Gora Kala Tina or sometimes so-called Sikh is gonna say, How can that book be your God, your guru? How does that work? That makes you an idol worshipper. You worship an idol. You say to the Hindus, you shouldn't pray to a statue, but yet, for you, this book is your guru. Now we have to explain that to them. You can only explain something that you understand. You can't explain something to them just textbook. Oh, it is the guru because my mom and dad told me that we don't believe in anyone else. We just believe in Guru Granth Sahib. Okay, well my mom and dad told me I should not take to a, a, a murti. My mom and dad told me I should put dodd on Shivji's shivling. My mom and dad told me that that's Rabadi Puja. But I you know, our argument. They said, well, our parents told us to pray to that. My parents told me, after you face that direction, face Mecca when I pray. So that's my God then. If that's all our argument is, is all we've been told to, the Bhaz it's not enough. No one's understanding. We had 10 gurus, we had 10 living teachers, okay, they went around, they taught us things. <coughs> but Guru Nanak Dev Ji had to bring all of these teachings from somewhere. I would like you to tell me, who was the guru of the first guru? Hands up please. I know you're not kids, it's just so that you get a chance, like everyone gets a chance. It's not. Not trying to make you feel like you little kids that put your hands up in a class. 
It's just that if everyone shouts out, the same people keep shouting out, and other people that want to answer don't get a chance. <coughs> Come on, put your hands up. Behind you. What is Waigu? What is this God? This God that we're all praying to. The Muslims are calling this God Allah. Huh? Allah, yeah. <laughs> the Hindus are saying it's Krishna or it's Ram or Hari. And the Christians are saying God or Jehovah or whatever, whatever they want to say. Hari? Jesus. Well, Jesus, they say, was the Son of God. But I'm sure you got some Jatibandi in there somewhere who says he is God or whatever. So, they've all got their own names. And we're saying, why group? Now we're all praying to the exact same. Gurbani says, Koi Bole Ram Ram, Koi Khudai, Koi Seda Gusanya, Koi Allah. We're all saying the same different names to the same thing. What is this thing? What is this Rab? <coughs> what is this big power that we're all really hung up on? What is it? Does it really even exist? Or is it just because our parents have told us, Get Rab Bahaga, Rab's watching. They tell you that when you go to university. God is the creator. But what is this God? An energy. Ah, okay, let's go with that one. God is an energy. <coughs> According to Gurbani, I hope I will be seeing when you're here that more with one than me, so please feel free to jump in at some point if I go on the wrong uh, math. According to Gurbani, Gurbani teaches us that God, Vahiguru, Allah, Ram, whatever you want to call this, Gurbani talks about the form to be formless. There's no form. So what is that? Gurbani talks about a ton. Anyone know what a ton is? Or a nad? Anyways, just try and guess. Smoke. Hadi? Smoke. Smoke. Roti. 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 Nad. Anyone heard these things? Huh? You mean like fog? No. Oh, you're thinking of tund. No. Tund. Ana had a ton. Sorry. Ana had a tuni. Baje. Neta baje. What is a ton? It's Shabbat. It's a Shabbat. I've just told you. Ana had a tuni. Baje. Neta baje. What is it? Hanji. Stomach. <laughs> Around lunchtime, ha, bajadaya, juru. Kahiya da sachi nit nit bajadaya. Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm getting roti, ted. <coughs> I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> what is rab? Uh, food. <laughs> what is the first food mean? What is the first food Oh, tunni. Aja. Nay. Not tunni. Tunni. Hanji. Is it? Ah, very good. Vibration. Who told you? I'm looking at Paisa, but he's a bit too far back. <laughs> I was thinking, anyone answers from that corner there, I'm gonna get in, you're gonna get you in trouble. A vibration. A Karpuruk, Rab, Vaiguru, Allah, Ram, is this vibration. This vibration of perfectness. The primal vibration. The Big Bang is not that primal vibration. The Big Bang came from that original vibration. That vibration is Adasat. Juga Adasat. Even before the Jugs. Happy Sat. That Ton, that Nad, that vibration is true. What do we about today? Nanak ho si pi Sat. Ojri. 
that original vibration, that original power. In science, anyone here study science? Like, into science? Like, are you, any of you like Big Bang Theory style? Yeah, nerds. Put hands up, nerds. <laughs> um, me, sir. <laughs> wow, I don't like to be called a nerd, but... Um, <laughs> nerds, put hands up. Any number thirty. Okay. Have you heard about um, the? Uh, is it Einstein's theory? Is it of relativity? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Oh, no, it's not Darwin. Darwin's. Darwin's. No, no, no. That's evolution. Oh, oh, That's you are not a proper nerd. Boo! <laughs> Come on, some fucking nerds. Handy. NG, same as sound, something, I don't know, I'm really bad at uh, science. I'm just copying what I've heard. <laughs> en energy, I'll give you a clue. Energy cannot be created, but can only be f moved from. Uh, or transformed. Or transformed, okay? But it needs an original source. Energy cannot be just created, and that energy cannot just go pff, gone. That energy has to move from one form to another. We do it. How do we do it? Very simply, as human beings, think about everything that Sikhi says about Tarasi, Lak, Jun. How are we moving from one energy to another? Sorry, from one form to another all the time. Yeah? Our Atma. Our Atma. Our Atma is that vibration, is that energy. When we die, it just pops out of this body and moves into another one. It goes into the Tati. It goes into the Ag. Our body is fueling the ag that we burn in. The energy from our own body is fueling the fire that's burning us, our body. Look at what energy is. Come on. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, well, but if everyone's soul is like, not just human beings. Tarasi Lakjun is so many things. Um, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I was going to say something. I looked outside and saw something else. <laughs> animals. How many animals are there? Even now, science has said. There's about 8.3 million forms of life, give or take a million. Right? So they're getting around the same kind of figures now. That Guru Maharaj has been talking about for so long. Yeah? There's all these different forms of life. You know the Shabbat? Sal patharma janta upai. There's this uh, article, this news article on Google, and it talks about, I can't remember which country it was, it was some kind of Asian country. And they use a, an aga, and there's a patthar that goes in, and there's a patthar that goes in. They don't use lohe jata, they use a patthar that tawa. Okay? And once, this person who had this patthar that tawa for like years, I think it was like seven, eight years, this patthar that tawa broke. Okay? Now think about this, this tawa, this patthar da tawa, you put your stuff on it, it goes into the oven, like peas any bandi, you stick it in the oven, and all it is hard with banda. This patthar broke, dropped, broke. All the way to the jee janta nikali. Life, uh, a beetle. A beetle had been living in this patthar for eight years. And we, when we read Guru Bani, he part of our part of the uh, we just read Guru Bani, the Hanyan, Yan, 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 but de vich bande sorry ji jan life ne ohna nu 
movie, you're giving them uh, nutrition. Sustenance Nourishment. Nourishment. Chalo, Guru we say handi hunda. Oh my god, this beetle has been living in there. I'm sure it probably expands and contracts. The only quick car no question mill rea with Joe. Art sal, this beetle stayed alive in there. The Guru's kid. Oh, we that's life as well. These are all forms of life. And we're going through all of these things. We're going through this chakra. Because our energy can't be destroyed, it's got to go somewhere. It's going to all these things. Okay? That vibration is a kalpurk. A kalpurk is a ton, a nath, a vibration. A kalpurk is not some banda who's sitting there, pair of sandals, dari down to here, sitting there on an office chair. Handi, Audi. Handi rabadi, you mar da na, banda mar gaya. Aon odr pez de. Nothing like that. It's this ton, this vibration. Oh, bajda sariyantiya. Even when Guru Granth Sahib is talking about the form of a kalpurk, is talking about the form that Akal Brook takes in everything. I could say right now, Rab is very green. Kyo? Abar de kua Rab. Bani sara. Ek ek patta de vich. In all these blades of grass, that vibration's in there. Every star that we see, that vibration's in there. Every breath we're taking, that oxygen, that air, that vibration's in there. That ton, that na, that vibration, that is the ultimate source, the ultimate source, Akal Purak, Vaheguru, Allah, Ram, Khuda, call that vibration whatever you want, it's a vibration of perfect, perfectness. And then look at the dunya, that vibration created this drama, and that vibration didn't want to just watch the drama. That director said, you know what, I want a part of this as well. I don't want to just create a drama. I want to be in the drama. In fact, I want to be the star of the show. What that vibration said was, I'm going to jump into the drama that I've created and you will have to look for me. That's the game. That's the drama. I'm going to be there as well. You're going to be there. You have to look for me. And that's the drama. And as this drama has gone on, and gone on, and gone on, and gone on, the levels have got harder and harder and harder and harder. And bella bella, you could find this vibration. You could walk past the river and you could hear that vibration in that river. You could hear that vibration in the air. You could hear that vibration everywhere. One Guru Sikh told me that Kei Jugamasti, for so many hundreds and thousands and thousands of years, that vibration was slowly entering all the atmosphere in small sounds. Vibration of sounds, right? When I'm speaking, I'm vibrating something. And holy, holy in the air, oh, you bad, I see. Just those, when we say, ad sat and jugad sat, that was when itto ni bad, I see. Satanta. Oh, holy, pani, agya, pani, with me, but don't like bear. Hawaii or Hawaii, which we were done like a The clouds came in the clouds over there like a bear. That vibrations vibrating everywhere. Holy, holy dinosaurs are going to be done like a bear. Bandai are going to be done like a bear. This vibration was just creating all these things. Bang, bang. Just like you take a candle and you light loads of candles. After that one candle, that first candle is that primal vibration. And then. And just created loads more and all of a sudden ah, they cook. Ah, they do, ah, they can't cook. A scene, a table chair, a camera, yeah? old man, yeah? All these things <laughs> were created, yeah? With Guru's Kirpa. I'll ask that later on. <laughs> you gonna meet me in the car park, three o'clock, <laughs> right? Bring your stick, old man. Right, exactly. <laughs> so Guru Mahesh created this whole drama. <laughs> Oh, 
So Guru Maharaj created this whole drama, just like we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, but this is better. I right, better characters than this. And this whole drama's going on. And as this drama got worse and worse, levels are made. In the first act of this drama, everything was pretty nice, pretty hunky-dory. They called it Satajug, the age of truth. Everything was pretty good, pretty hunky-dory, everything's going quite nicely. Then, correct me if I'm wrong, Tretaya. And Tretajug, all of a sudden, things are still very good, but a little bit of negativity is just slightly creeped in. Fair Dwapar Jogaya. And all of a sudden, this negativity is becoming slightly more apparent. Now, wait a minute. These things never used to happen. I, I don't know. I mean, I say this a lot like age wise, but age doesn't really mean anything. Yeah? But it might have been before your time. Parents will definitely have their hands up. Did anyone ever watch the epic drama? of Mahabharat. Put your hands up. I've got this on box set. <laughs> you know the box set's got extra scenes. Do they all know that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, hands down. So just a few of your kids, mostly the parents. It used to come on BBC One, then it came on BBC Two. Yeah? And it was very good. Very good. You can watch it on YouTube. They're all on YouTube. Or get the box set with extra scenes. And the makings and all that, right? This Mahabharat is very good to watch. Because that Mahabharat tells you, just before Kaljuk started, ki ki hoya. All you have to note in Mahabharat is from episode 1 all the way to episode 100 and whatever <laughs> it finishes on. The Taram. What's Taram? No, I wouldn't call it religion. Give me a word that starts with M. Religion. <laughs> no, a word that starts with M. Huh? A certain type of behavior. Mad, no? Misbehaving. Moral. Moral behavior. That's what taram is. Taram is moral, not religion. Religion is something we make out of the taram. It's something we put taram into. Taram is pure moral behavior. Good moral behavior. Okay? Mahabharat shows you from the beginning where there is still taram, sharam. People still have shame. People still have principles. And it goes all the way down to the end. Where Timiyanu Kitke Nangya Kan Lagya in front of Raji and Maharaji. Where even Rabda Roop, the one who claims Kim Mer Rabbiya in perfectness, Ovitura Tut Bulalag Pandaviti. Yudhishthir was known. As such, this one Raja out of these five brothers, he was known as the pinnacle of truth, the embodiment of morals. <laughs> and the most interesting bit is that he tries to be just and like from an angle that still makes him morally correct, but then someone just challenges him straight on. Munudas Edda Hoya Jan Na Hoya Hanji Edda Hoya It didn't happen, he lied just straight, point blank That happened in Rab Ne Kita All the Mahabharat, Tamasha, Drama Guru Ne Kita Sara Kush To create lesson, examples for us For us all And Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Bani Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji's Bani All talks about examples from these Hankar Things got worse and worse. Who can I joke upon? Hello. Hello, Marcus. He's going. Where are we? Call joke. Talk for where are we? We're back in sub joke. You've been asleep for a whole joke. Right. In this, you see right to the end. There's no tarum left. The last battle is won through cheating. There's rules to a war, and in this battle, with the type of weapon that he's using, you can't hit below the waist. So what did he do? Hit him below the waist. No, you can't hit below the waist. So he does. He starts hitting him below the waist to kill him. Okay? So all the rules are broken by the end. Okay? Now what happens is, this isn't in Mahabharat, right? But if you go on YouTube and look at all this, 
But how am I doing on time? Because it's quite a long topic we're talking about. But 20 minutes. About, 20 minutes about, left. About that. <laughs> about that. 20 minutes, half an hour. 45. I got it. At the end of my part, what happens is, right, just try and concentrate on what I'm saying. Yeah, you'll learn a lot from this. Hopefully. So, for, so will I. Mahabharata, what happens towards the end is, I've got a friend, Gursekhi, he's very into Mahabharata. And I was so happy. Because I thought, most Kaiji is a cutter saying nothing, and I don't know, we don't want to talk about these things. Oh, I was so lucky. Two people I met in my life. There's one by Sabra at the back, by Shingara Singh. Oh my god. You just cheered the girl of Mahabharata, and that was it. You had a whole round Katha start right there and then. And I was so happy when I was a kid. When I realized that they're saying you can do everything about Mahabharata, even extra. I was like, yay! Okay, so I was sitting next to him at the end of the day, saying, so what happened then? What happened then? What happened then? <laughs> And then there's this other thing from Birmingham, a very good friend of mine. He's like crazy on Mahabharata. He was saying, quick, go on YouTube, someone's adding something new. And then Google this word and I'll tell you even more. And it was great because when you're watching it, shovels start coming into your head. Oh yeah, Guru Mahal said this. One thing I'll say, go on YouTube, type in Hari Darshan Prahlad. Amazing movie. It's the whole movie of the Shabad Har Jug Jug Pagatu Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing movie. Yeah, yeah, I love you in tears. Yeah, beautiful movie. Hari Darshan, Prahlad. Go on YouTube, please watch it. Very good movie. Okay, don't become Hindus afterwards. Just watch it. Okay. And what happens is, towards the end, all this has happened, right? The grandchildren of this story, the grandson, yeah, Parakshit, yeah, lovely name. And he's riding through the jungle on his horse, he's hunting. Okay, as he's hunting, all of a sudden he hears this screaming, absolute tortured screaming. And he goes, what the hell is going on here? He takes his horse that way. And he sees this dark, scary, jamdut looking figure. Yeah? He's ripping, I'll tell you guys this last year today. Oh, you heard it before. He's ripping the skin off a cow while it's alive. What does that represent? This is the drama that's going on. What does that drama represent? It's a very deep drama. What is it talking about? What do you think is about to happen? It's Dwapar Jug. Okay? Why is it Kal Jug? What's Kal Jug about that? What does Kal Jug mean? This is the age of what? Darkness. So this guy is ripping off the kal, off a gun, and eating it. But it's still alive, this cow. He's screaming. And he goes, Oi! Aki And he's eating it. What does that show? What does that, what does that tell you when I'm telling you this? Think about culture and Indian belief system. What's going on? Hands up, hands up, come on, hands up. Come more of you need to have your hands up. Otherwise, there's no point in you coming because you're not going to get anything out of it. I need more of you than your hands up. If you get the wrong answer, what's going to happen? I'm not going to shoot you. Most of you know what the answer is. Agora would know what the answer is. Andy? Is it like hatred towards seekers? Mm -hmm. It wasn't our cow. Ah. The most sacred thing of them, morals, is being ripped to pieces, alive. It's being ripped alive. You guys know in India, your train will stop. Your car will stop. Why? Because how now Daisy Cow is on the tracks. <laughs> on the road. You can't shift. Like, dal, 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 dal. You have to wait and start going Gamata Agi and you have to wait for Gamata to move off the road. And there is this thing ripping the Kal of this Gamata. He turns around, he goes, Who do you think you are? What do you think is going on here? He goes, I'm Kaljog. This is my time now. This is what's going to happen now. I'm going to take your Tharam and I'll rip it to pieces. Your morals, your moral behavior. <laughs> Gurbani says, Maya, Mamta, Mohani, Jina Veda Danta, Jagakaya. 
this maya, this distraction, this evil sort. You know, you've got teeth and bad moral behavior ripping us to, it's eating us up. Dandal the Bagari, it's how powerful his gums are. He said, eating us up. You give your nanny or daddy an apple when she's got her danda. And then cow, cow. Trust me, her, her gums ain't strong enough to do that. She'll go. <laughs> Fun to watch. But it'll work. Okay? And this maya, this dormat, is eating us alive. Danda tam gari khai jandi And this parikshit goes, Oi, son meri gal tu, Bollywood style. Oi, oh meri gal tu. Is jungle mein tu, ja mein. So culture goes, mein. So, it all gets very dramatic. If you watch it on YouTube, <laughs> freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame. Freeze frame. Did that like 10 minutes. And he goes, look, you can't stay here. I uphold Tarum. Yeah, I come from the Pandas. I uphold Tarum, good behavior, morals. You can't stay here. So Kalja goes, Atsadi, TKD, I'm scared of you. Right? I'm really scared of you. Um, let's do this then, make a deal. Jinna chir tu jinda ya. Jinna chir yo hi ya. Jinna chir tera raj ya. Onna chir, just give me a few places I can just go stay in. Right? And I'll just come full force after you're dead. And he goes, Chal, thik ya. Mere jaan to baat hum phatte chakli. Right? Which is very strange what to say. And um, he goes, okay. Wherever there's gambling. Wherever there's sharab. Wherever there's chut, nindya. Wherever there's prostitution, calm, lust. Because I've got nothing to do with those places. No problem. That's fine, I'll do that. Wherever there's already immoral gand behavior, it's just a bit, there's less space than I need. I need a little bit more space than that. Just a little bit more. The Raja goes, Gold. Gold brings distraction, lust, anger, greed, attachment. Calm, crowd, low, mahakar. Oh, sonne. Ten minutes. Oh, sonne de magar magar phir de ya. Tu sonne te reh ja ke. What did the king have on his head? What was it made of? So he goes, tu sonne te bela ja ke. And he goes, tiye ke ji. It jumps on his own head. Odhan to what we say is buddhi prest ho gi odhi. mat kharaab ho He was attacking and getting gussa with Rishi, Sadhu. This Rishi is sitting, doing tapasya, he's doing part, Simran. <coughs> he goes to me, Sadhu ji, main raja parikshit ya, minu piyas lagi ya, minu paani palau. And he's gone in his Simran, he's not even hearing what's going on. Mini gana suno, do you know who I am? Whilst the ego is there. And he goes, doing a simran. In his mind, something tells him, who the hell does this Rishi think he is, ignoring you? And he's just some little Rishi sadhu. Take your talwar, chop off his head, and teach him a lesson. And that's when this whole kaljug Age of darkness, no taram. It's gone. Gurbani says, Nanaka kood rahaya par poor. Ek gandhi rahaya bas. Thaan thaan te. Nanak bakhane binti tod baaj koodo koodo. Apart from whatever Guru is, the Sangat is, the Simran, the Shabad is, is a gand. Now is that hard to believe? Look around. Look around outside, what's going on? Addiyan nangiyan, teemiyan firdiyan, bande avyoviyad de nangi, gandh, sharab, nasha, violence, corruption. All this is going on. I don't think it's hard to believe that it's a dark age. A very dark age. Especially last week, yeah, America TV, they're happening 
happening where that's a very fresh thing to say that is <laughs> the, what, have I, what happened last week in America at the Gurdwara Sahib in Wisconsin? Yeah. 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 Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Two, weeks Two weeks ago, sorry. No, Creek. No? I mean, very dark things, very bad things that happened. Yeah? 1984, TQS, and all these things. No? Now, Guru Nanak Devji comes into the dunya. I've only got 10 minutes, so I'm actually rushing the real talk. Right? Guru Nanak Devji comes into the dunya. Sorry, dunya no agalagiya. This is all drama. Guru Nanak Devji is a drama as well. Oh, drama, yeah. It's just coming to a part of all this drama. Guru Nanak Devji comes into this dunya, into this, what Guru Gobind Singh calls Jagat Tamasha. Tamashe dunya. Guru Nanak Devji comes in, and his drama, he looks around. Oh my god. As far as I can see, dunya to agalagiya. Corruption, gand, kaam, krod, lo, mahankar. Pella, pella. Kaam, krod, lo, mahankar. We're trying to pull down mankind. Hona. Mankind is trying to grab onto kaam, krod, lo, mahankar. We want kaam. We want krod. We want these things. We want to be attached to things. We don't want to be detached. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji, as part of this drama, says when things are this bad, when the level is gone that bad, if you were to put on scales good and bad, bad would just drop down and good would just fly up into the air. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji says we have to weigh these scales out. We have to put something so good, so heavy on this side, at the new Let's flip it over. When things are that bad, yet even in the name of taram, religion and moral behavior, there's corruption. When things have got that bad, that the mandir, the masjid, the morvi, the pandit, the religious leaders, they are corrupt. When things have got that bad, what happens? What is the ultimate good that has to come down to weigh that out? What is it? Hands up. Hadi. It's Y group. Y group is the whole power. We're all Y group. All of us are. Sadi under there's jyot and nikri. Because ne and nikri jyot naal ni, a D jyot ne honi hai. The energy vibration about the DNA. Okay, on that side of the room, there's a stereo player, and that is playing Gande Gane. But it's a killer, see the corner, see the Gande Gane. Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes, huh? Oh, easy. <laughs> on that side, we put on this die, die, I want you to bleed to death, I want you to die forever, oh my god, I wish my mom would die, my dad would die, then I will die, we're all gonna die. The on volume level one, So what's gonna happen to that one? It's going to go on to two. Uh -uh, it's not going to go zero. It's going to say, I better drown that one out. If it two is under, the culture goes on to three. The shovel goes on to three. Four. And Guru Nanak Devji goes, <laughs> I've got an idea. Guru Nanak Devji brought in an amplifier. I just hear that bottom head of the sun. Not just any amplifier. That amplifier was rub. For three days, we know the story, Guru Nanak disappears for three days. Yeah. What did he do? He did not go there and just say, Rabbi Ji, Minu Maharaj, Toh Somek Ikana Ja Ke, Achha, Thik Ya. He goes, Maharaj Ji, Chalo. Apni Puri Jot La Ke. Amplified Chak Ke, Then Maharaj dragged him back to here and goes, Hone Dekh, Dekh Kaal Jo Kithil Lo Kada Phir Da. I'm going to amplify Rabbi. Rabbi Nui Phalaar Dena Thai Paas And knock those scales like this. 
Knock them kegan. Blow your scales up. So what did Rab do? Rab goes, Maita karda. Maita ek to nea. Ek naa dea. I'm just a vibration. Dunia che on vaste, I need a form. I need to look like something. I need to come down to the dunia and be recognizable. So, he came in the form of the vibration again. How? Ik Onkar Satnam Karta Purk Nirpo Nirvar Akal Murat Ajuni Sapang Gur Prasad. That was his form. All those vibrations. He just brought his own form down. And oh, I have ek oankar, satnam, ek ek akar, one letter, the vibration of the one, that ek oankar, the vibration that is creating. Sasa, that sa. That is Rab. So when you wonder what we're praying to, who this Rab is, it's that Sasa, Tata, the Mama, the Kanna, the Nanna, Sat. Sorry, I did that the other way around. <laughs> but that shows you my spelling. <laughs> That's why I'm not allowed to write Gurbani. <laughs> I'll rewrite it all. All those letters, when they came together, that is the moral, that is the teaching, that is. Rab. To bring perfection into the world again, there was no other way. You had to bring the ultimate perfection down into this dunya. And that ultimate perfection is and always will be and always has been Gurbani. Guru Nanak Dev was challenged by the Hindu yogis, the Sids. And they said, Le, this Nyana, Unu Bala Kandihi Nyana. You know, gyan, Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak, Tera Kavan Guru, Jiska Tu Chela. If you're Guru Nanak, then who is your Guru? Jiska Tu Chela, of whom you are a student. Who is your teacher of whom you are a student? And Guru Nanak Dev Ji goes, Shabad Guru. The Shabad, the Ton, the Naad, is my Guru. And he goes, I'm not the student. Surt. My concentration is the student. If your dhyan goes out there, Bashak, you're sitting here, you're not learning anything. So you can't be the student. But your sarir could be out there, your dhyan could come in here, your concentration could be in here. The concentration is learning. It's the concentration that learns. And he goes, Surat. Ton, chilla. The ton, the nad, the vibration. I concentrate on that vibration. The school shuru ho gaya. That's how you learn. Time up. Sorry. One minute. Sixty seconds. Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji's bani ik ik akhar is a vibration. That vibration is here to spread chardikala. To bring back morals. The lessons are the characteristics. The lessons that these Shabads are talking about are actually the characteristics of that perfect ton, that perfect nad, that perfect vaigu. Gurbani says, Jin har japeya se har hoy. If you vibrate, Paj mere eko naam. Paj means to vibrate. If you vibrate the vibration of God, concentrate. If you vibrate the vibration of God, Gurbani says, you will become exactly what that Rabb is perfection. All this gun that's going on in the dunya, all these bad things prostitution, sex, drugs, violence. 
all these things are happening because they're nigure. Gurbani says, Sat Guru Bajo Guru Nahi Koi. Without this Guru, Gurbani, Guru Nahi Koi. There's no teacher. There is no other teacher. Ne Gure Ka Hai Naumura. If you are not a follower of that moral, that ton, that nad, Mara says, Thoda Naam Lena Vi Mara Iya. Ne Gure Ka Hai Naumura. You're immoral. That's what Gurbani is saying. You're immoral. If you're not following the morals of Rab, if you're not following the teachings of that ton, Mar said, you've got no teachings. You've got no morals. You are immoral. Dujipa se har harjan doi ek hai. Akal puruk and the sick that vibrates on Akal puruk doi ek hai. The one and the same. Why? Because if I'm vibrating that, if that's what I'm vibrating, so when Guru Maharaj brought down a Kalpurk, asked, begged a Kalpurk, as you are, don't hide, just be you. Maharaj comes down in the Shabbat. That Shabbat is why we Matha take to that Shabbat, why we do Prakash, Sukhasan, we carry that Shabbat on our head, we live by that Shabbat. Every decision we make is guided by that Shabbat. We live by Gur Mat. The thinking, the teaching, the intellect of the Guru is what we live by. And if you have the intellect of the Guru, you're perfect. If every person in the dunya had the intellect of the Guru, we'd all be perfect. Dunya swarga banju, dunya will become a heaven. What we do, asi guru te pet karke, we listen to that kaljuk voice. We don't even read the Shabbat. We don't understand the Shabbat. Dere padde viya vi paha padke. We don't submerge ourselves in it. Gurbani says, kaya rangan je thiye pyare paye nao majit. Rangan wala je range sahib aisa rang na deet. That Guru Maharaj, if we were gonna, if we were a kapra, and if we were gonna dye ourselves in the color of Guru. So imagine that vibration is now a color, it's become a color. And if we were gonna dye ourselves in that color, Guru Maharaj, aisa rang na deet. Trust me, you will never, ever have seen such a deep color. Such a powerful color. We have to color ourselves. How do we color ourselves? One saying I love is, Pulana Gosik Naam Devit Rangyasi Naam Te Pidyasi. They were soaked in Naam. Soaked in it. How do you soak yourself in something? Ennik Bani Naal? The Ennik Bani Naal. Ennik Bani Naal? The Ennik Bani Naal. You want to soak yourself that Vaheguru, 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 Vaheguru. You know, like we all have, this is me, but inside there's bits of me that really make me, and then there's the complete cut, cut, man. Midi Atma Jiriyana, my soul, my complete being. For a Kaal Purikston, that's Vaheguru. That's the nucleus of the being of a Kaal Puruk, is Vaheguru, Vaheguru. The V, He, G, and R. These four vibrations of different letters, or Those vibrations are what we matha take to. Those vibrations are what we follow. Those vibrations are God. They're not going to take you to God. Vahe Guru. These akkara are not going to take you to God. They are God. They are Ram. Allah. Akal Puruk. So how do you bid yourself? How do you drown yourself in it? Why Guru? 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 That's how you pit yourself in it. Baki pit ke pata lagu. That's as far as I can go. You go to Panj Pyare. You present your head to those Panj Pyare. Aami ni milda. Rab aami ni milda. You have to give up your duniyavi life. To be given your spiritual life. 
ਅੰਦੋਸ ਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਜੇ ਤੁੱਠੇ ਹੋਣ ਦਿਆਲੂ ਹੋਣ they will give you that vibration ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਰੀਲੀ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਈ ਵਨ ਬੀਨ ਹੀਰ ਫੋਰ 2 ਡੇਸ ਆਈ ਵਨ ਹੀਰ ਅ ਚਾਂਸ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਫੋਰ 2 ਡੇਸ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਅਪ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਥੀਸ ਕਿਡਸ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਜਸਟ ਟੁਡੇ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅ ਬੋਏ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਅਪ ਇਨ ਫਰੰਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਹੋਲ ਕੈਂਪ ਐਂਡ ਸੇ ਥੈਟ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਹਿਸ ਕੇਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਆਲ ਆਈ ਨੀਡ ਸੇ ਵਾਦਾ ਔਰ ਐਨੀ ਵਨ ਵਾਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਚੇਂਜਿੰਗ ਥੀਸ ਕਿਡਸ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਰਜ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਸੋ ਵੈਨਵਰ ਯੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਸ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਮੋਰ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਸ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਮੋਰ ਸੇਵਾ and inspires you to want to move forward in your own good city not just take the kids forwards but pull yourself forwards as well so i mean above anything else i think i feel just lucky just to be a part of the camp bhai gurji ka khalsa bhai gurji ki fatih